My name's Ian McConnell. I'm the Franchise and Programmes Director for Greater Anglia and my job is to lead the £1.4 billion investment into GA's network. It's going to completely transform the lives of our customers um, and we're making a massive difference to everyone that travels. We're replacing every single train on the network and it's also a multi-million pound investment in infrastructure, stations, depots and all associated areas that to help those trains run. Lockdown has been a really interesting time for my team in, in lots of ways. Um, the, um, the network being quiet is a, the best time to do projects, the best time to you know, otherwise disrupt uh, the network. So we've been really, really busy actually. Um, the types of things we've been doing, we've been uh, continuing with the train project. We've ex accepted a further 15 Stadler trains onto the network. They're now operational. Uh, Bombardier trains have uh, progressed really well and we've also made loads of progress on some of the big infrastructure projects at Ilford Depot, uh, at Norwich Crown Point Depot. We've commissioned a brand new sidings facility at Norwich Victoria sidings. Uh, that's 420 metre roads, brand new overhead lines, uh, all gone live uh, during the lockdown. So loads and loads going on from the team. One of the challenges we've overcome very recently is to install a new train lifting facility at Clacton Depot. Um, that was a big, big challenge because the team, the supplier who was delivering uh, the project for GA was based in France. Um, they were um, restricted in their movements. They were locked down before the UK. So um, there was a lot of um, proactive action from our side, from my team, um, a lot of Zoom calls. Um, a lot of letters written, a lot of phone calls to fairly senior um, French um, civil servants as well as the organisation itself and in the end we had to actually organise various forms of transport, taxis, planes, trains to get them over here um, and also hook up with our team to commission the kit um, in you know during what was you know, a, you know the, the height of the lockdown. It was a big big effort and a big success. Other challenges we've had, uh, for example, with Bombardier, our train manufacturer. Um, unfortunately for them, they had um, an impact because of the COVID shutdown and their supply chain. They had to actually um, shut down their train production line um, for a number of weeks um, in May-ish, uh, just a few weeks ago. So that was a big, big challenge for us because we are getting very close to um, the culmination of this project and introducing the trains. Um, so we did work with them, we worked with the supply chain as well to help them reintroduce uh, the manufacturing services, help them to get the trains onto the network, help them to test the trains, that's still taking place today. So it's been a real joint effort, um, a real partnership actually between GA and Bombardier and actually they've made an incredible amount of progress in the last few months and as a result we're very close to putting those trains into service.